One day, the human race will be extinct, just like 99% of all species to ever call our little planet home. Reminding you of this doesn't benefit me, but I'm in a salty mood. Actually, that's not true. I don't know why I'm lying. I'm in a good mood, it's video time. Although I should say, despite my good mood, our species is still doomed. Sorry. The Tasmanian tiger was once the apex predator of Tasmania, despite long being extinct in mainland Australia. Striped like a tiger and with the head of a fox, they were more closely related to the kangaroo than anything else. But it doesn't take a genius to see where they get their name. European settlers had no time for them, with local farmers offering a bounty for each Tasmanian tiger killed. With that kind of incentive, they were soon extinct in the wild, with just one left in captivity. This video shows that last Tasmanian tiger. It died soon after in 1936 and no Tasmanian tiger has been seen since. Unless of course certain rumours are to be believed. Some say small numbers of the species survived in the wilds, where they remain today, and that Bigfoot has one as a pet. 50,000 Pyrenean Ibex once called Europe home, but by the year 1900 there were less than 100. By 1910 it was 40 and never rose above that again. They lived in Spain and southern France but was declared extinct after the last known Pyrenean Ibex was found dead in the year 2000. But three years later the Ibex was brought back from the dead when it was successfully cloned. A female was born but died within minutes. Still it was considered a successful cloning, and the Pyrenean Ibex was the first extinct species to be reawakened. Last year a new project was launched to do so more effectively, and some hope other species will soon be brought back. Lonesome George was the last Pinta Island tortoise. Before his death he was the world's most rare creature. He was found on the island in 1971 and taken into captivity as he was the only known native tortoise. After that no more were found and it was just him. But despite surviving over 100 years, he never shared his wisdom with us. Nor did he teach martial arts to a panda. He just did tortoise things. But that's a job that needed to be done. And now that he's gone, scientists are desperate to either clone him or learn to do tortoise things for themselves. Baijis were the Chinese dolphins of Chinese dolphins. Wait. It was a dolphin from China that existed in the Yangtze River and several nearby lakes. We don't know for sure the Baiji are extinct, but as the last confirmed sighting was in 2002, they have been declared functionally extinct. The Hawaiian Crow might sound like a badass ring name for an MMA fighter, but it's really a godless winged beast feared by earthworms everywhere, or at least it was until the beast was declared extinct in the wild. Despite being so terrifying, they were not hunted to extinction. Generations of inbreeding left the crow's wild population weak, meaning only a small amount of environmental change was needed to wipe them out. Local lore tells that the crows are magical and their job is to lead the souls of the dead to their final resting place. So now there are no native crows left, I guess Hawaiians are kind of immortal. The western black rhino is one of the more recent animals to go extinct. They were declared extinct in 2011, with none being found for years leading up to that. They were largely driven to extinction by hunters looking to poach their horns, which were then traded on the black market. Traditional Chinese medicine told that ground into powder, rhino horn could cure poison and make people stronger. But other mythologies told that weapons made from rhino horn would be magical and protect its holder. So they were also hunted to provide magic weapons for people fighting various civil wars across Africa. Clearly, the magic horn didn't protect the rhino themselves, so they probably don't do much for humans either. The Leyton Rail is probably a sex position, but it's also an extinct bird. It was flightless and confined to a small Hawaiian island, but its only predator was another bird. By the early 1900s, introduced rabbits ate all of the island's food. With little food, the Leyton Rail declined in population. There were thousands of the birds when the rabbits first arrived around the year 1903. 20 years later, there were just two of them found on the island. But it was during the Second World War that the last of the species was seen. The ultimate cause of their extinction was likely damaged from the war, but realistically, they were just another species destroyed by rabbit kind. 
The heath hen was a blessing for early settlers in North America. They were commonly seen and easily hunted, which is why they came to be seen as a food for the poor. But this meant their numbers declined massively over the centuries of human settlement. It was common for servants to be fed heath hen every day by their employers. And by 1870, there were none left in mainland America. By 1900, there were less than 100 surviving on an island called Martha's Vineyard, which is a strange name for an island. But not even Martha's Vineyard could save the hens, with just one left alive in 1928. Locals named him Booming Ben, but he was last seen in 1932 and no heath hen was ever seen again. The golden toad occupied a small 4 km area of Costa Rica. They were common to see within this area, but not since their extinction in 1989. That year, only one male was found, and in 2007 they were officially declared extinct. It's hard to say why they went extinct. Some believed the toads were not extinct but actually living underground. But no, they were gone. It's thought an El Nino upset their mating season, which coming after years of locals eating away at their habitat was more than enough to wipe them out. The Spix macaw is considered extinct in the wild, but a small number live in captivity. They were fairly easy to find in northern Brazil, but you won't find any there today. In 1990, a male and female macaw were released into the wild with the hope they would repopulate. But almost immediately, the female flew into a power line and died. One of the causes of their decline was the influx of Africanized bees. Bees so powerful, their sting can kill humans. Competing with them for nesting space, the Spix macaw didn't stand much of a chance. 